So you already know what it is, man. A lot of people have been asking me about the chorizo spaghetti that I make. <clears throat> so I'm going to fucking give you guys the rundown right here. This right here is kielbasa sausage. Today I'm going to throw some sausage in it just because. So I'm going to chop up a little bit of sausage. Trying to be all professional shit like Bobby Flay. But um, you can already see my knife has seen better days. This right here, this is a bone crusher that wouldn't crush no bones. This motherfucker ain't worth shit. Anyways, so I'm going to chop up my sausage first. And then I'll show you guys exactly what it is with the get down. So stay tuned because it's going down. Chorizo spaghetti time. Bang, bang. So now I got my pan down. I put my heat up to about medium. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of olive oil. Just a little bit for taste. You know what I'm saying? You got to. Then that sausage that I chopped up, I'm going to throw that in the pan. And we're going to get that browned up before we hit it with the hamburger meat and then the chorizo. So I'll get back to it. I'll show you guys what it is. What's good with it in the hood with it? Welcome back to the Collective Clips where you already know. I'm in the kitchen, so I'm definitely getting it in. So before I get into the story of the day and this chorizo spaghetti that's been requested for so long, man. So many people have asked me to make it. I already got my sausage in, as you've seen in the beginning. Uh, sausage is in the pan, right? And that's just something different that I'm adding. You don't have to add the uh, kielbasa sausage. But I like that shit. That shit is fire, right? Anyways, hit that like and subscribe button. Put your notification bell on also. That way you're directed in the direction of the dope content I am kicking. And it's a little something, something different today, man. So, of course, I got the oil in the pan. A little olive oil. And I got my kielbasa sausage in the pan. Chopped up. And it's doing its thing. I'm going to let it brown. Then I'm going to hit it with the ground beef. Brown that up. And then the chorizo will enter the building, right? And um, that's what flips this particular meal man i have i've been eating this chorizo spaghetti since i was little man my grandmother my father's mother rest in peace put me onto this i remember one day i went to her house man my grandma's old school right she was one of those old school mexican grandmothers that would cook way i mean she would wake up at three four in the morning while fucking uh, uh, uh convicts are busting down and rolling up mattresses my grandma already had all the meals done for the whole day in the house don't bother her as she watches her novellas and gets ready for bingo you know that that's old school shit so um, that's the type of grandmother I had. I remember one day going to her pad and I smelled something bomb. I was like, Grandma, what are you making? She was like, Chor I'm making chorizo spaghetti, mijo. And I was like, chorizo? I was used to chorizo and papas, chorizo and eggs, but never chorizo spaghetti, right? Um, so she put me up on it. And I'm going to tell you, it's never been the same since. I don't like it any other way. And once you try it once, I'm going to tell you. you know. So let that brown while I tell you guys a little story. So you see the thumbnail right there. The 10 deadliest cities in California. Oh, we. Don't they switch up all the time? Every year, there's one city that's just deadlier than most, right? Um, I'm going to talk about places that I've been. So, the thumbnail is a little misleading because initially, I was going to talk about in the past. I've had that thumbnail for a long time. I was going to talk about um, the 10 most righteous deadliest cities. But you know what? I kind of wanted to switch it up, man. And uh, just talk about cities I've been to and how treacherous they are. You know, North and South, Northern California, Southern California. So to me, probably the most dangerous city <clears throat> that I remember going to where you just feel it, man. There's an aura, man. It's cracking out there. They're really gangbanging. It's for real. It's not only is there gangbanging, there's a lot of dope fiends, a lot of unhoused people, just a lot of shit cracking out there, man. And that's San Bernardino, Inland Empire area. Man, I went to San Bernardino one time and I'm going to keep it real. It fucking pops out there. There's a lot of different gangs. There's a lot of different gente, man, that it's 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 so far down south, you know, it's just kind of like its own thing, its own entity. I know a lot of people talk about Los and Los Angeles when they think about Southern California, and they sleep on the IE. You can't sleep on the IE. Them bottles out there are really with the activities. In San Bernardino, I remember one time we went, a couple of my primos, I have a primo from Fresno, and uh, it's, not, it's not my other primo, it's actually fucking my prima's old man, but I call him my primo. Uh, we all had to go out to San Bernardino, man. He had to go pick up a check. He's a truck driver. He had did a delivery. His boss was out there in SB. He couldn't wait. So, of course, I went along for the ride. And at this time, I was an active game member. So, I was kind of like, fuck, bro. I ain't never been out to San Bernardino. I had never went that far down south unless it was fucking Mexico, right? And usually when I go to Mexico, I don't go to Tijuana. I cross over from um, El Paso. I go to Juarez, right? So, anyways, ooh, this garden is looking bomb. So anyways, we went out there to SB, man. We went out to some bar out there, and there was a gang of Southerners out there, and there was a gang of Vogels, man. Um, Vogels from fucking, uh, you know, the bikers. 
they were out there thick too. There was no issues, man. I wasn't out there all flamed up, acting all gang banged out, you know. Um, but I could just definitely see that anything could pop at any point in time. It's just like any other city. It doesn't matter. It could be some little small ass town. But San Bernardino is notoriously known to pop off, right? So to me, that's one of the craziest places I've been. Like I said, I didn't have no issues or no problems. But I felt at all points, the whole time I was there, like there was going to be issues. Or there was going to be problems. Them bosses down there just, I wouldn't say super surrenial, but what I would say is, <laughs> you know, you could definitely tell they're in the mix. So, uh, man, this, this meat's browning up good. So then the next city I could say that I went to that's dangerous as fuck, that not necessarily dangerous, but gang related and grimy is Stockton, California. Stockton. And I got a lot of history of going to Stockton, right? Right off the 99 or you can go off the I-5 and get there that way. I'm going to tell you right now, Stockton is crazy. There's several Norteño gangs there. First and foremost, the Norteños are the most dominant group there. Raza, period. But the Norteños are fucking pretty thick, pretty deep, right? And um, you got Triple uh, S, Pilgrim Street, 6th Street, the East Side, um, Cent uh, Central. You got a lot of vatos in, um, in Stockton in every different hood and every different vato is its own thing. They all move differently. They all got different ways of talking, different ways of speaking, different hustles. I remember I went out there, man, and there was this Motel 6. And I don't know how we ended up there, but one of my primos, again, I'm always with my primos. He had knocked some chick, and she was a tweaker chick. I'm going to keep it real. Some white tirada. Fucking, she had a hell of homegirls on this hotel room. They were burnt out in there. It smelled like straight scanty smoke in there. But still, we were trying to get it in where we fit it in, right? So I remember sliding into that hotel room. I couldn't even breathe in that motherfucker. I was wide awake in there, right? Um, and there were some bottles sitting in there, and I was like, hey, who's this fool? I thought we were going to have to get off, right? He was like, hey, I'm from Triple S. I'm from Southside Stockton. Like, All right, cool. That's cool. I'm hit the. I'm hit it with the uh, the ground beef right now, so you know. Some of that 80-20. You know what it is. Hit it with the ground beef, just so you know. So you have your sausage cooking for about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. A little salt. I don't weigh shit out here, you know, unless it's, unless it's crank, right? <laughs> Uh, a little garlic powder and of course I'm gonna hit it with a little pepper and I know the story's getting interesting I got you on hold like in vogue but don't trip we're gonna get back to it it's a little something different man this is the everyday life of gun I'm making the chorizo spaghetti you guys requested so anyways you break down your your meat you can hear the pan's hot it's sizzling it's doing its thing right hey grandma Tommy also one other thing she used to slap me in the head, hey, Bob, also don't use a fork. Don't scrape up my plant, my pans. Always use plastic, right? Say no fucking prison yard. You ain't got to stab somebody. So anyways, um, let me turn it down just a little bit. So anyways, I see this dude, and he's out from Triple S. All right, cool. And the Volta has some weird-ass contraption in his hand. I'm like, damn, what is that, bro? And he's like, I'll trip out on this. And it was like a bike chain. It was like a fucking, I don't know, it looked like a handle he made out of. I don't know what he made it out of, and it was like a bike chain. And I was like, what is that, bro? He's like, it's my own pipe cutter I made. It's so I could steal fucking catalytic, catalytic converters. <laughs> hey, so this boss was like, you guys want to come up? You guys want to come up? And I ain't going to lie. The chicks were like, yeah, yeah, we'll come up. So we took this boss to a Walmart, and he spilled about 15 Cadillac converters. <laughs> you know what I mean? He was crazy. I was like, oh, but see for the people in Walmart. But anyways, that's how it is in Stockton. It's grimy, man. Everybody's off that shit. Um, and there's a lot of crime right there. And it's very gang-related, man. You can get clipped in Stockton. Every exit you take is a different body or a different area. And like I said, they all move different. You know, the white dudes out there, they're pretty thick, man. Um, Okieville. O o Okieville, that's what they call it out there. And them woods, brother, <laughs> you know? There are different types of woods. See, these woods, like, all right, so say they have like Oildale and Bakersfield, and then you have like woods in like Sonoma County and, and Cocoa County and, and, you know, wood woods. You know, bottles that are fucking got white power all over them and they're with the shit, right? The Fresnex, Sacramaniacs, all that. You know what I'm talking about. Nazi lowrider type motherfuckers, right? P-Nice. In Oak, Oak, Oakieville in Stockton, California, these vatos are like Chicanos, huh? <laughs> you know what I mean? They're like fucking lowriders. They'll pull up in cool-ass V-class and everything, man. They're fucking, they're different, right? But there's some straight-up white dudes, some, some maniacs. Vatos are all spun out. And that's what Stockton is known for, having that scante, right? So everyone out there is on a great one. Um, but there's a lot of gang banging out there. There's a lot of, you know, uh, just death, man. It's a deadly city. Stockton is, 
to me, it's it's crazy. I went to um, the San Joaquin County Jail one time, Stockton. It tripped me out, man. Um, although we were functioning as Norteños, it was just different. I remember we had nothing but chanclas on, and I was just tripping off of it. It was a little bit more different than I'm used to. Um, but there was a lot of hint in there. There's a lot of Mexicans in Stockton. So Stockton is definitely one of the, the factors in California. So then... One of the craziest other cities I've been to, and I don't mean to toot my horn, but that happened to be the city that I'm from, Merced. It's small. A lot of people say it's country. Um, it's dangerous, man. It's fucking dangerous. If you ain't from there, it's super dangerous. When I say dangerous, everybody knows everybody. So that's, and, and everybody's gang banged out. So, and it's ghetto. It's poverty. There ain't really nothing there. You know what I mean? You can go to the north side by the college. That's our big thing. Hey, the college, there's nice houses there. But the ghetto has leaked over into the college area. So, I mean, there's really nowhere to go. Nothing to do. It's a lot of hopelessness. A lot of people, I mean, if you want a wig and have a good time, you got to go to Fresno or Modesto. You already know we ain't trying to go to Fresno too much because the federal chapel's out there, right? So you go to Motown, Modesto, which is just a, a crumb bigger than Merced. Um, it's just, there ain't nothing to do with Merced but gangbang and be homeless, right? Or do drugs like every other city in California. But, um... The gang-related mentality is different. See, when it comes to the Norteños, that is a very functioning city. You know, very functioning. And I think that kind of stems back from, from my hood and, and other hoods, of course. But we were definitely, um, we were trying to be on super Norteño status, if you know what I mean. We were playing them, them prison politics in the streets heavy, man. You know, uh, uh, regiments and... And everyone had to go by a certain code. And I mean, that's just how it was. Merced got well-known and well-respected in the prison system um, because of the way we were doing things on the streets. We were just fucking fools. And it's gotten worse, man. These youngsters now don't give a fuck. Just like every other city, they're crazy. And because it's just a smaller, congested town, motherfuckers will get off on you. I mean, I could tell you stories for years and days and days, but I don't want to be implemented in nothing. But um, let's just say that if you're not from Merced and you don't know about it, don't go traveling or wandering down M Street or V Street or R Street or any of that type of street, right? Because um, motherfuckers will peel your cat backwards quick, fast, you know, and, and there's nowhere to go, man. There's nowhere to go. The West Side goes on forever. And that's how it is in Merced. It's, there's a uh, um, there's the interstate, 99, Highway 99. One side of it um, is ghetto. The other side of it, which is the West Side, is super ghetto, right? So, I mean, there's nowhere you can go. You, it's just kind of like Stockton. You get off the exit, man, and, and you can get clapped and get right back on. You know, if you can make it back on. Oh, man, that meat's looking good. It's browning with the sausage. And so now, if you notice, I don't drain it. Unless you got some bootleg-ass, bow-legged-ass uh, hamburger meat, don't drain it. That grease is good. You know? Then I take the, the chorizo, beef. Whatever brand you got. You know, I like the cheap shit because I'm ghetto like that. That's all I could afford, but at the same time, um, it just gives it a whole different taste. And I use the whole chorizo right off the top. I want that chorizo flavor in there, so I'm going to drop the chorizo. Now, the hamburger meat's brown. I'm going to show you guys right now what it looks like. Right now, it looks like chorro, but um, it's going to get better. Right, so you drop your chorizo in, break them on down, make sure everything's fully defrosted. You don't want to have fucking all kinds of agua in your shit. And then just let it cook on down, and the chorizo will break itself up, and then I'll get to mixing it. So anyways, yeah, Merced is, 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 is vicious and you just don't want to be all in there, right? So another crazy city um, in Northern California, you know, and there's a lot of different ones I'm not going to speak on, but um, Fresno, <laughs> fucking Fresno, man. And it's not because of the Pedro Chatos, the Bulldogs. It's not because of the Asians. Or the, it's because that city just don't give a fuck. I'm talking about you'll pull up to whole up on the east side, especially You'll pull up to whole complexes. There's not a window in the whole complex. They're all boards. And it's not because of Hurricane Katrina. That's just what they get. That's what they give you when they rent it out. It's fucking bad, man. You know, the area by the college is I. But even then, man, you know, the Bulldogs are deep there. They're barking at everyone. They're regulating in that city. They run that city. There are West Fresno Norteños. Um, you'll see them here and there. Uh, you'll see a couple of the Southerners from Sanger, the, you know, the county area slide through they make it dangerous because they come to beef with the dogs and they beef with everybody uh dogs don't like anybody we all know that dogs are trying to beef with everybody man they're remaining dominant in that town and that's just what it is um so that makes it a, de a deadly atmosphere because in the valle that's the only place to really go 
you know, you have to slide through Fresno, you know, if you want to go to a good mall or if you want to go, you know, shopping or, or, or anything. Knock some badass bitches out of Fresno got some bad ones. Them perros, they're winning. So anyways, what makes this so dangerous, man, is I think, again, the gang problem there. The homelessness and the gang problem there is pretty rampant in Fresno. It's all there is, man. And uh, there's been so many situations where we slid through the homies to go shopping at the mall or... You know, we slid through. One time I got invited to a Fresno State Bulldog game and, and I was fucking paranoid than a motherfucker. Everybody there was wearing Bulldogs and my homeboy had to remind me, hey, homie, it's, it's the team, right? I was like, I ain't never been around so many Bulldogs since why? Right? And that's just how that was. Anyways, one of the other deadliest cities that I've ever slid through where I was like, oh, hell no, I'm cool, right? Is Oakland. <laughs> it's just like Compton. <laughs> I've been to Compton too. We're going to speak on that. Oakland, man. Look. This is how real and how ghetto Oakland really is, truly. And no, I'm not saying it's ghetto because it's dominated by the brothers. And no, I'm not being racist or none of that. I'm keeping it fucking real. Oakland, serio as fuck. Oakland, when you're driving down the freeway, if you pull over on the freeway, there's trash all up and down the freeway. When you pull over, there's empty Newport boxes and 40 ounces and fucking Erez, which are syringes. There's fucking, I mean, just garbage everywhere. You get off them intersections, you know what it is. I'm going to tell you one time. So we're cruising up to uh, Newark. Newark, California. It's by Sanjo, right? And um, we're, we're sliding through Oakland. And we're coming from Modesto, in fact. And we're sliding through Oakland. And our fucking tire blew out. Boom! Right? So my fucking primo, he calls AAA. Or it was my Theo, in fact. He calls AAA. And uh, it was me, him, my grandmother. And uh, that that's who it was. We we're in his, in his whip, right? Tire blows out. Boom. So... Triple A's coming, and we're like, fuck, man. The guy's like, look, I can't fix the tire right here. We don't have that, that size tire. I'm going to have to take it back to the shop to fix it, whatever, right? So we're like, cool, can we ride with you? He was like, I'm in a small, I'm in a smaller vehicle, smaller cab. So he's like, only one person could go with me. So, of course, we're like, can you take my grandmother to Newark to uh, my other uncle's house? That's where we're on our way to a barbecue. So, of course, me and my uncle, we're just going to walk on down the street till my grandmother gets there to my Theo's. So she could fucking, uh, and ooh, this chorizo is mixing up good. I'm mixing it all up and letting it cook. So anyways, um, the dude takes her. So me and my Theo are walking down the freeway in Oakland. So my Theo's all thirsty. Hey, fool, let's go get some water or something, right? So we slide down, and I'm thinking, okay, this is Oakland. I don't even know exactly what part it was. I was all disorientated. I was like, look, don't talk to no one. Don't do nothing. These brothers out here will smack you. They don't give a fuck. Everyone out there is trying to hustle. Everyone thinks they're a pimp. Believe me, leave these people alone. These people. And when I say these people, not black people, I say Oakland people. Because them motherfuckers are different, right? And um, my deal's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're walking. He's like, I'm fucking thirsty. Yeah. I was like, there's a gas station. You know, I'll buy you a Gatorade. Put them right? And, and look, I'm not disrespecting my, my uncle's only a year older than me, right? So we, we fuck around like that. So anyways, um, grandma was still doing her thing in her old age. Or, either, or my mom was doing it younger. Either way, somebody was winning. So now, my uncle runs up to some fucking house he don't even know and just grabs the manguera, which is the water hose, and starts drinking out of it. Old school style, right? This, the, two Tookie Williams ass motherfucker comes out, big ass black dude. He's like, oh, you're just going to drink out of my water hose without asking? My uncle's like, still drinking. Fuck that, I'm thirsty. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, I'm apologizing like a motherfucker. I'm like, look here, on Paru, brother. <laughs> Man, please don't smack us. He's like, nah, I ain't tripping, man. I'm, I'm cool with essays, right? Thank you. Um, and we got away with that one. We slid off to the gas station. My Theo came and picked us up. Whatever, right? Um, but definitely Oakland. I've been there so many times. We used to go to a club out there, man. Um, the worst part, or the worst area I've ever been in Oakland where I could say, man, they will smack your top back is right by the Oakland Coliseum. That area right there is ghetto. I think that's where Yuck Mouth is from. They'll fuck you off right there, man. Um, Oakland is not the place you want to be on the late night tip. Because like I said, man, you roll in. I remember one time we were on our way to Sanjo and we pulled over uh, at a gas station right there in the O, oh, right? In the city or the town. And they call it town business. And we pulled over right there, man. And it was like cucarachas. A hundred black dudes came out trying to wash our windows. Just like the movies, right? We were trying to sling CDs. Vatos are fucking got guns. Like, hey, who's in there, right? They're trying to knock a bitch. Like, damn, what's up, girl? All that. All at the same time, I was like, man, let's just get our $5 in gas and get to pushing. For real. So that's definitely a deadly city. It's somewhere you don't want to be, man, if you're not from there. If you don't know the wiggle, because they'll cap your shit, man. Let's look at this. 
real quick. I'm just going to show you guys what's, what it's looking like. Can you see that? Can you see that? That's how it should be looking. Just let it cook on down. Go away. That's how you do it. So anyways, <clears throat> I'm going to hit you with two more cities, man, that I've been to and <laughs> dangerous. So another city is Oxnard. Oxnard, California, right? Colonia. Them bottles from South Oxnard out there. And them bottles from Colonia. They are vicious, man. I told you guys the story before. I went out there with some chick. Uh, this, I was on the run. You know, I needed a place to stay. So I was trying to crash out since I had knocked her. And man, it was dangerous out there. They're so a. Hey, that's how it is there. They got a Rio, is a barrio. They got a, a, a Colonia. So why do they all with cowboy shit? I know they were disappointed the other day when the cowboys got smacked. And then if you got, of course, you got South Oxnard, which they all wear like white socks and Raiders. Oh no, Raiders are for El Rio. They all wear certain teams. Mm, it's just looking bomb. And so, anyways, uh, it's just I think the more so with that city is the raza. So much, uh, it's all Mexican. The whole place, Mexican, right? And gang banging. It's just all about gang banging. Ain't nothing else to do really there. But just gang banging like a motherfucker. Unless you want to slide over to Santa Bruta and go to like the beach or something. You know, go do a little tourist thing. But even then, you can get smacked in Santa Bruta, right? But uh, Oxnard, yeah, is definitely um, a spot where it's just gang related, man. Every little block I went, every twist turn, every time I went to thrifty to go get some ice cream or anything, it was just gang related. I was there for like about two weeks and I got on. I ended up going to Juarez with the homeboy. That's when I told the story before we went to Juarez and I ate dog tacos and shit. That was that time, right? But um, truth, it's just it's just grimy there, man. You know, and there's a lot that goes on there because it's so gang related. They got gang injunctions going on in that area at all times. And it's just, there's cop cops everywhere and gang banging everywhere. So it's just a city, man. I wouldn't want to be caught uh, slipping in because like I said, I've had issues there when I went there. And uh, so the last city I wanted to talk about, and I'll tell you guys a little story, man. This motherfucker's crazy, right? Is, of course, Compton, ch -ch -ch, Compton, ch -ch -ch, Compton, Compton, it's just like Oakland, right? Compton, man. Um, Everything you hear, everything you see from NWA on back is the truth, okay? I think the only thing that threw me off base where I was like, what? Was the fucking that the raza? There's so many Mexicanos there. I was thinking it's all Africano, you know. Since fucking NWA, I always thought Compton was just like a black town. Little did I know the history of it that it actually was a white town. It was all white people back in the days. It was actually like a nice rich town, and then it flipped, you know, after the Watts riots and all that shit. And a lot of uh, brothers started to move in, and then of course the raza started to come in and, and be deep. And I think the raza might be the majority now in Compton. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I got primo that lives out there, man. And I'm not going to tell you what Vato he's from because he still functions just like my primos from Wilmas. But this Vato, um, yeah, they're, they're with the shits out there, bro. That shit is like fucking boys in the hood, right? They're all out there on the blocks, fucking gangbanging. Every street is a hood. So you have to really watch it because it's real life. You know, you hear about all this stuff like all the Southerners, the Southsiders, man, they bang against a body across the street, literally fucking across the street. There's certain stores that, are, are neutral and there's certain stores you can go to and the others it's fucking crazy in Compton um I was there for three days and the ghetto bird was there every night and someone got smoked the first night I got there so that was my introduction to the Compton so when I'm gonna tell you one of the deadliest cities it might not make the news like it used to back in the 80s and the early 90s <laughs> Compton still wiggles right anyways with that being said man I'm gonna give you one more look at the how the car is looking right now look at that look at that you see that? Chorizo spaghetti. The chorizo's cooking in there. And uh, I'll show you guys the finished product. Anyways, with that being said, man, you know, just a little talking and a little walking. You know what it is, man. The chorizo spaghetti, we, it's the get down, man. Ten deadliest cities on the thumbnail, but I think I spoke on four or five. And uh, that's just true. Truth be told, man, if you ain't from California, uh, it doesn't matter what town you go to. You'll probably get shot in any one of them if you act stupid. That being said, move smooth with a purpose. Get everything that you want coming. And remember, at the end of the day, it's all about the strive, the struggle, the struggle, the strive. I'm going to put my pasta on right now with the water. Oh, before I go, because I told you I was going to. So once you got that cooked and your fucking chorizo is done or cooked down, you can use whatever kind of uh, uh, spaghetti sauce you use. I use Prego meat because I'm broke. But you pour that in, put it at medium. Once it gets to uh, bubbling, 
hit it with the top, let it cook for another 25 minutes, done. Put your fucking, you already know how to make uh, noodles. I'm not gonna teach you guys how to make noodles. If you don't know how to make noodles right now, then you ain't, one, ain't never been locked up, two, you're not Mexican, three, I don't know what the fuck to tell you, right? So um, you make your noodles, your pasta, you pour this over the pasta, voila. The best spaghetti you'll ever eat in your life. I put my motherfucking finger on it. Bang, bang. This is the gun. And there's the final product right there. Chorizo spaghetti. Mm, got me some garlic bread on the side. Let's get a close up. That right there is the best spaghetti you'll ever eat. Facts. Bang, bang. Gotta try it.